You up? Well, you better get up and fast. Something's happening. Get dressed and get out there. Fast. Fast. She'll be right out. Hmm. She is getting dressed now. Fast. Hmm. So, um, can you tell me what this is about? You're kind of freaking me out. Hmm. And then the Heffalumps and Woozles stormed the Emerald City, while Aslan rallied the Rebel Alliance to... Ugh. What is going on? You are so out of it. I'm worried. And why are we staring at the door again? Are we expecting somebody? <sighs> Perhaps. And the wards are dispersed, and not by any discretion of mine. The passage is breached. It is? It looks the same to me. How do you know? I cast them. I know. The wards are no more. Then... Who's doing this? I... I don't know. But how? I don't know. Well, can't you just, like, recast them? I... <sighs> no. The rites are winding and vexing and... And the blood... It no longer heeds me. Not as before. Wait. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Are you okay? Are you saying you're losing your power? Not as such, no. It flits, comes in flashes, as it did that night. You mean the night when you... Yes. It was all I could do to make my escape. But in my unmade state of mind, I gave in to the beast. So it wasn't even your fault. And Dolly's forgiven you already anyway, haven't you? Mm, you have, haven't you? <laughs> Regardless, pet, someone is to blame for this malady of mine. It began the night Surly and yourself procured for me the book, the Euphratian Codex. As the tally of detractors grows ever greater, she surely has a clue to pursue. Surly? <laughs> no way she could have done this, right? I mean, she's a... <laughs> she's all kinds of bitchy, but she's your thrall. No, I trust her utterly. But her contacts, perhaps not. Oh, I see what you're getting at. So, what's our next move? I want you to meet Surly at the Lore Dump. Take the doll with you. Us? <laughs> but she hates my living guts. And shouldn't you come with... No. No, I... Mistress? <sighs> These spells of frailness. They strike as lightning, searing flesh and mind like, and in those instants, I see... <sighs> I see... Phantasms. Like... Like premonitions, you think? Reflections long lost. Visages distorted by time. Song silenced and cinder snuffed. 
Grief and regret and anguish, faded yet fetid, as a dim, familiar figure in the water, beckoning me to drown. Ah, memories. Yes, though whether mine or another's, I couldn't say. I don't know. Nonetheless, this place is no longer safe, and I need you two to be clear of me. Should I suffer another fit? Should our villain come for me? And I suspect they will. You'd be collateral damage. I gotcha. Don't worry. I'll get Dolly to Surly's all safe. We'll wait for you there. <sighs> but mistress, you... You're gonna be okay, aren't you? <laughs> As ever. Now go. And don't let me find either of you marred. So, what's it like? Well, got out. That's what you wanted, right? So, what's it like? These shabby, shady back alleys must be nostalgic for you. <laughs> I could have told you that. Disappointing, huh? <laughs> hey, I said you'd get to go out. I didn't say you'd get to go free. I did want to get rid of you. I really did. But now that you're not a threat? Eh. I can feel that connection we used to have again. And I hadn't felt it in years. You know how when you fall in love and your brain always just seems to default to that person? Like this all-consuming need. It's like that. But instead of misery and desperation, it's just warm and fuzzy feelings all around. So I guess I'm a born-again believer. And besides, I kind of like having you around now. So if Mistress tells me to take you to Surly's, I'm taking you to Surly's. <laughs> what? You think you can sweet-talk your way out of this now? Nuh-uh. I've got my eye on you, princess. Make a funny move, and I'm gonna have to wrestle you to the ground, pin you by the wrists, and... <clears throat> but we don't have time for that, so just keep on walking, missy. No, I... I am worried. Of course I am. I'm just trying not to think about it, I guess. Mistress? She's barely ever so not wordy. She never answers a question with a simple yes or no. But seeing her so distracted. Whatever this is, it's serious. Like a month ago, me and Surly went out looking for this book for Mistress. She thought it might have some answers on this children of men situation the walking dead are having. You know, nobody being able to sire her and all. But it sounds like it just kicked off a whole other mess of trouble. Surly? She's another thrall of mistresses. Runs a bookstore a few blocks down. The Lord Dump. She's, um... She's a real ray of sunshine. And by sunshine, I mean like sunshine to a vampire. 
I think she'd be happy to never see me alive again. We don't exactly get along, but Mistress trusts her, so... <sighs> yeah. And I wish I could be more used to her. I wish I could help her fight, but the truth is... I just get in the way. I could take on five guys thrice my size and their burgers and fries, but an actual vampire? Nuh-uh. Not unless they were literally reborn yesterday. You have no idea what it's like to actually try to scrap with one of those things. It's not just that they're stronger and faster and pretty much immortal. They get in your head. We can't fight that, so... So, I do what I'm told. It's all I can do. If she says she'll be okay, she'll be okay. I mean, she survived the last time, didn't she? Um, though I guess it kind of was at your expense. So don't bug out, but we're being followed. Yes, it's the boogeyman and he's coming to get you. <laughs> yes, we would have been safer in a crowd. And that's exactly why I've been sticking to the alleys. <laughs> Calm down. It's not a vampire, it's another thrall, and I met this one before. And the last time didn't end well for her. So if you want a round two, you can stop sneaking around now. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll protect you. I remember you too, Xian. I remember your fondness for knives. I remember the brand you left me with. So this time, I'm staying well out of arm's reach. <laughs> oh, Ron? <laughs> ah, you know. Unless you would like to have what she is having, I would suggest you sit down. I do not know you, but I will hurt you if I have to. You are not a troll, not quite. But I can smell her on you. Mm. I spend placing, perhaps, or something to feast on. You in petit mort? I'll soon more of that. She's nobody. You can just let her go. Now you, on the other hand, I have business with, yeah? I have questions for your master. Mama Mère, chérie. For dear Dory. Yeah? Well, if the question is violence, then the answer is fucking yes. And I'm gonna slice you right open and choke you with your gun. <laughs> you bark so loud, Jean, but I see right through you. <laughs> Literally, there is an hole in your chest. So I say again, I must speak to your master. You! What do you want me to do about it? Mange ta main et garde l'autre pour demain. <laughs> she has made herself scarce as of late. So you are to lure her out. What? <laughs> Wait. But the words are... If you didn't spell the words... Mm -hmm. 
No one's a gun then. Oh, quel surprise. You're telling me I could simply have walked into the monster's lair and driven a stake through her heart and a sword through her neck. No! I... I... Well... But unfortunately, that is not the mission Mama Trice has charged me with. No. I am simply to hunt you down to get to her. So howl for me, ma petite chien couleur. Whine and call out to your master. I only need a word with her. A splendid plan. And what happens next? <coughs> Mistress. <coughs> ah, mon mère. There you are. Matrice Goodman has a message for... Put the gun to your temple. <laughs> you don't want to be doing this, I think. You are quickly running out of friends. And they would be able to pay Pull if... Pull the you... trigger. Evelyn Goodman has a message for me. Does she? <laughs> Return to Cinder. Molly? Pat! Pat! I... <laughs> Mistress? I... I think I could use drink now. If that's okay. I don't feel so good. No. No. No, 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 no. no. This is... This is too much. You... You are bleeding too much. M mistress? I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I... I had it wrong. It was all wrong. I am so sorry. You... You can fix it. Right? I... I cannot... I don't know. I don't know. It's too much. <sighs> Doll, turn left at the end of the alley. Two blocks away, you'll find a bookstore. Tell the owner, in moonlight blooms the queen of the night, and she'll take you in. Repeat the words to me. Good. Good. I'll meet you there in three nights' time. Now go. Run. Run! Molly! Explain why you're buzzing me at five in the morning. Unless you're just gonna breathe in my ear like a creep. I have cameras, just so you know. <sighs> right. Hits people. I'll get the door. Welcome to the lore dub. I'm surly. <coughs> you look like shit. Oh. Whoa. You... You look like you've seen some shit, too. Hey, don't cry. It's gonna be okay. Probably, uh, there, there. <laughs> 